Two in moment. Let everybody know who y'all is, where y'all right, from. So check, check, check. You know what I'm saying? We live in the wreck, motherfucking Fubu Palooza, Houston. Live in the mix with Backstreet. Cold, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. Y'all can't take the highways and shit. You might be too, might be a little too much traffic. You got, you got, you got cut through the side, get them back streets and shit. You make a deal with me, you know what I'm saying? I go by my name Mecca Jackson's, my nigga Ace McCain and this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? We got my nigga Snippy and this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's for us. This is by us. A bunch of creatives in this motherfucker. We live in Houston. We about to shake the city up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Doing a lot of shit for the creatives. For a lot of the some bunch of dope brands. We got painters. We got body art. We got fucking vendors. We got fashion. We got performances. What? Come what on, made y'all say fuck it? I'ma come to Houston, collab with some people down here and bring us a big ass event right. like this. Houston so you is a first of all. Houston one of the biggest like markets in America. You know what I'm saying? And it's always just been love and shit. So it was just like, why not? You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of untapped like creatives out here who don't ever have a platform to really at events to really like just Big showcase facts. what their, their crafts facts. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Big so facts. it really just takes something like this to put them on a pedestal. That way they can start getting booked going on and that. shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel that, so it's man. more so just some community vibes, like really like creators just coming together and just like taking it from there, you know what I'm saying? I want to see like collaborations from tonight. I want to see like motherfuckers linking up and shit, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing but just blessed vibes. But besides all that, nigga, we here to get jiggy. We here to, I'm lit already, you can't Big tell, fat. nigga. Like, <laughs> Big we here to turn the fuck up. This Big is about it. Man, any advice that you can give to the artists, man, watching, man, all of y'all? Just right, some man. advice. Let me tell you, man. Do not ever let them tell you you cannot do it. I hear it every day. They just don't want you to do it. It's mind over matter. You feel me? You always hard work be talent. I don't care how talented they is, bro. You put that extra grind in, you're gonna get that extra every time. Let that sink in. Hard work beats talent. Big fan. Industry's like 75% hard work. Oh god. Talent is cool. Talent takes you like further, it takes you longer, but you need that hard work. It's a lot of untalented motherfuckers making it every day. It's why. Big facts. Because they work hard, and it's a lot of talented motherfuckers crying on social media right now. Guess why? Because they ain't got the hard work. When you got both, when you got both, they Big unstoppable facts. shit. Big Big facts. Nah, we ain't live. Go ahead. Tell them tell something else. Give them some advice. Give them some advice. Some advice. They help you out. Let me tell you the key to this. Number one key, consistency. Okay. Say it louder. You you ain't you gotta optimize every single day. Consistency. Every day some new content. Just every yeah. day. Consistency and then you're undeniable. If you're not gonna do it long enough, somebody's gonna answer that door. And it's up to you to walk through it. And be you know what I'm saying? And and just don't don't stop. That's it. Don't like, stop. You can it's, it's a world, not 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 You know what I'm saying? Stop focusing on other people. It's okay to take a little break, like re strategize, but just don't stop. Keep it going. Keep it going. You know what I'm saying? Fix. Nobody ever stopped. Like, Kobe's first shot when he was like three years old, he probably missed that shit. Did he stop? Nah. Like, exactly. you gotta R. keep R. that shit going. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Like, RIP Kobe, too, man. What was y'all initial thoughts when y'all got the news about Kobe? Ooh. Like, yeah, I thought it was fake, first of all. Like, that fake, fake yeah. news. Like, I feel like everybody thought that shit was fake and shit, you know what I'm saying? But slowly but surely starts sinking in, and then it's like, his daughter too was on that? Oh, man. But yeah, that shit hit home, and I feel like, on a universal scale, like, at one point, the universe stopped, like, you can't deny that day it happened, every, all seven billion people on Earth felt or thought about death. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what it did. Like on a, on a conscious scale, like that same day, everybody, even if you never knew who Kobe was, you heard about it. Everybody on Earth heard about Kobe's passing and thought about, damn, my past. You you don't, you don't inter internalize that and think about your passing. And so it just makes you conscious of life at the end of the day. So reverse shit makes you want to like. Live better, you know what I'm saying? Like live better, live stronger. Whatever you are doing, just go harder for it. And if it didn't make you do that, take it there right now and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just go ten times harder, just go bigger, just go better, just keep improving. Keep growing, man. Y'all plug your IG, let everybody know where they can tap in with y'all. Go ahead, go ahead. 
look, man. All your shit. He got it's KC, you feel me? But no, it's a real shit, man. It's Ace McCain, aka Kane, whatever you know me by. Follow me on Twitter at Ace X McCain, A C E X M C C A I N, and on Instagram at Kane vs the World, C A I N V S T H E World, man. Follow the kids. Man, y'all tap in with my boy. Follow me at fucking Don't Follow Mecca, right? So Don't Follow M E K A. Man, on Twitter, add another A to it because they keep suspending me on Twitter. They be hating and shit. <laughs> it's like Don't Follow Mecca with two A's, but everything else, Don't Follow Mecca. You can Google me, Mecca Jackson, M E K A Jackson. You can look up the hashtag Food for Loser, any social media platform. Hey, big blessings. I couldn't have done this shit without this nigga and shit. You know what I'm saying? Without Snippy, without you and shit. I wish I I can turn this camera around and shit. Thank you, you know man. What I'm saying? Go go man. Behind it's fucking big y'all. blessings in Houston. Go. I love Houston and shit. You know and what you from where again? Let everybody know. Rock it with me, man. We live on the back streets with your girl Cole, man. We got the homie here, big time Kobe, man. Let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming, if you don't mind. You know what's happening? This bitch up Kobe. I'm from Louisiana. He's the doctor. He's so young. Okay. I'm a content creator, a content guru. I shoot photography with Johnny Lane. All that, you know what I'm saying? We doing photography. We doing tattoos. We doing clothing. See, I got the fit on. Big shit. I feel that you're a content creator, man. You do photography, Johnny Dang, man. How did you land that opportunity? Uh, so I do my own event called Mishachi. I got the Solo in the I started inviting a lot of people. And after that, you know, this guy wanted to work with me. I didn't know who this guy was. After my event, I hit him up. Yeah. He worked for Johnny Day. Since he wanted to work with me first, we already had some mutual you know, background or whatever to talk about. And he was like, hey, what about an internship? So I was like, hell yeah, I do a three-way internship. Did the internship in Italy. I'm gonna take your photos of these events. You know, snowball effect, shit kept rolling down here. I got to meet uh, the Migos. I got to meet the Sky, which I described. Uh, Don Tolliver was one of the realest ones. Man, shout out to Don Tolliver doing a lot of big shit for Houston, man. It's crazy. You know, I'm here from retail, being adopted by Houston. Seeing all these big names. Yeah. Man, that's crazy, man. Could you give these artists some advice out here, man, being that you behind the scenes a lot? Yeah, we're behind the scenes, man. Some artists coming up with some connections. How do they make that connection, though? Make that connection by not trying to sell yourself, but trying to sell who you are. Let them know who you really are. Don't let them know what you've done, who you featured with, how many songs you got out. Don't let them know all that. Talk to them, make a personal connection with them, and then that will get you in the door to talk about them. I feel that. I feel that. Sit down with Johnny Day, talk to him, make names, just talk about I feel that. I feel that. Be yourself, bitch. I'm Kobe. Why the name? Because I'm, I, I used to not be myself. You know what I'm saying? I used to be worried about my image when I was around people. I feel that. I was like, I woke up one morning and I was like, bitch, I'm Kobe. You know what influenced the image? With everything you got on right now? What influenced yeah. that? It's just an outlaw mindset. You know what I'm I really throw anything on, just throw the shit and rock together. A lot of people tell me not to mix the beats, but I can mix it. I can enjoy the album, so I can shit fucking on. You know what I'm saying? I feel that. I feel that, man. Plug the IG to YouTube. Let everybody know where they can find you at. Just follow me at Bitch I'm Kobe anywhere. iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube. Bitch I'm Kobe, K O B I. K O B I. Man, R P to Kobe, man. I ain't wanna fuck it up, but y'all kill me, man. <laughs> you know how y'all do out there, man. But let everybody know who you is, man. Where you from and what you got coming, if you don't mind. Man, big facts. What made y'all do that?
Honestly, I just, well, it was crazy because I used to work at Goodwill, and you know, when Harvey came, niggas, like, we, niggas just couldn't help me. You know, Goodwill was the establishment that built on helping motherfuckers. You couldn't help me, Name, TNT. When I first got in there, niggas always tell me, oh man, that shit wild, man. Mm. That shit, I, so I, I feel it. I just kind of mad with the you know. I feel it. And, and it actually stands for the next church because, you know, these old clothes, these secondhand clothes, so somebody else had them. So one man, one man's church, another man's church is a next church in TNT. I feel it. Why apparel? What made you go into apparel? I don't know. I just like it, it's just something about putting clothes together. Oh shit, my you bad. Know, it's something about putting clothes together, trying to you feel me, fix the design, or I even say fucking make make colors, you know, work together. Yeah, that, I feel it. So are you going into like fashion design and all that shit, or? Nah, I wouldn't say nah. Yeah. You say you do music too, right? Okay, talk about that a little bit later. Everybody know what you got out. I uh, I recently dropped the uh, recently dropped the single "Cop Out." You can catch that on all platforms. You see that "Cop Out" in the YouTube title, Google Play, and all that shit. Uh, I got one mixtape out. Uh, Can't make fake and mixtape volume one. You gonna catch that only on SoundCloud. That's the only thing on SoundCloud. I got a couple singles. I got other singles. Elroy, fucking uh, what's some other singles? Oh my god. Uh, have the script, all of that shit on, uh, what is it, all of that shit on SoundCloud. Most of my music is out on SoundCloud. Man, I feel that. That, that, that makes steps a lot. Man, I appreciate you, man. Plug your IG, let everybody know where they can find you. Hey, go follow my music, my video page. Uh, on Twitter, it's underscore the first 48. Go follow my TNT page on Twitter at, uh, B, uh, Black, I'm sorry. Underscore your cow pound. And my vintage page on uh, my TNT page on IG is TNT with the pair underscore. Man, I appreciate you. I got dope shit. I got real hard shit. Straight drop. Shout out to Matrix and Comfort. Man, and I appreciate you. Mom, all of that shit. Y'all go check that shit out. Y'all go check that shit out. Thank you. Thank you. Man, appreciate you. Crazy ass show, man. My family, man. Day one shit been rocking with me since I've been going up, man. But let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming. Hey, shit, I'm Astro. I'm from the space to the north, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit. Northwest East, man. Hey, what's up? I'm from the ranch. I'm over there in the you already know. It's all right. Big fat and outside shit, man. Since I last met, man, the career was uh, doing good, but man, you on a whole nother level, man. We'll talk about that a little bit. Hey, put it in a whole nother level, too, you know what I'm saying? Ever since you know, we got to put you on the interview, now you up, bro. I see you. Man, I appreciate that, bro. But, hey, yo, man, shit, just a lot of good things happening, a lot of recognition from different artists, you know what I'm saying? Like Johnny Dane, Paul Wall, Chula Savvy. You know, a lot of people recognize us now, you know, it's been a, it's been a minute, you know what I'm saying? I feel that, man. What 2020? What y'all got in works, man? Yeah, man, shit. We got a lot of other videos going on. We got a new music video coming out with Lil Ominous. That's Lil Fox Cousins. What's his name again? Lil Ominous. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we got a video with him coming out. So we still trying to, you know, think about other collabs. Yeah, we're trying to do different things now. We got another collab coming in from Dirty Ray. He's also an artist from Japan. Okay. And he's in the flu. Huge, man. Any advice to any artist that's watching, bro? Oh, man, shit. Look, man, just keep doing your thing, man. Keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever stop. You know, pushing that potential you got. And, uh, you know, just release music, don't hesitate. You know what I'm saying? Just release music. Don't hesitate. Just release that. You know, I feel that. Just release that. Just keep blowing song to song. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta, you're gonna get hurt one day. I feel that. What was your thoughts on the Houston Astros getting caught up in that cheating scandal? Oh, man. 
I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> okay. Should they take the World Series away from him? Uh, Leave him alone. <laughs> Leave him alone. I feel them, man. I feel them, man. What's on the shirt, man? Oh, my. Drink sippers. I feel it. Man, outside in the bitch, man. That, you got any new music coming? Man, plug your IG, let everybody know where they can find you, man. Follow us on Instagram, follow you, get us on YouTube, uh, Facebook. We're about to get on Spotify very soon, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's get it going, man. Hey.